and if they can in a bit of the shade but even that is secondary to their need for water now while I've been chatting I've been doing a bad thing and not talking about what you're having a look at and what you're having a look at here is two Impala rams evidenced by their horns busy doing a bit of a dance around one another I'm not quite sure exactly why and it's one of the reasons why it's taken me so long to actually answer what we're looking at when I did stop they were twinkle toesing around one another now the larger of the two males seems to walk, be walking away and he's followed there he goes so now he's just turned around and he's gone again back to this male posturing uh, that side on display in, in front of the other male impala is a very um, deliberate move called posturing and there he's posturing again walking right up into his face showing the other impala how long his horns are and how beautiful his body is other male impala can't help but to respond by turning to face the other male here we go the obligatory head shake now this time of the year is not the impala's rut that happens in about May and so I think that this is just them practicing to be quite honest I don't think there's any serious intent here at all it's not to say just because it's not in the right time doesn't mean that boys don't fight as you'd all know boys have this tendency to want to scuffle and wrestle with one another and even if it's not that serious it definitely will be practice for when it does become serious and that impala on the left hand side with the big horns will be big enough next year to actually challenge any of the dominant male impala in this area for dominance over a herd and mating rights obviously that come with that I think let's see if we can go a little bit more forward or is this good for you Brian this is all good there you go that ritual that they're going through at the moment facing one another a little bit of a lip licking that yawning nodding tails flicking then all of a sudden the distracted stare out into the distance that's all part of this whole dance that Impala do with one another one backing off one advancing tails wagging I know it may seem like I'm just talking about what I'm witnessing here but that is all actually part of this dance that they do with one another and then one trying to walk away and then they'll reset again and they'll do this on and off no animal really oh, there we go okay so maybe it is a bit more serious gee whiz oh. that is a proper fight that's amazing they're having a decent fight have a look at that now other males coming in from the sides looking to add any advantage they can look at that that is a deathly fight they've got their horns locked pushing those ridges against one another using their powerful back legs you can see them kicking out those back legs trying to hold down there you got the one one trying to push the horns into the body cavity of the other one they're now locked with one another one will have to disengage that'll open the neck and the chest cavity for a thrust those horns wickedly sharp have a look at the power there this is incredible this is probably the longest impala fight I've ever seen in my 20 years of guiding look at them pushing each other around other impala in the periphery and there they break that locked again let's give them some space every nerve in my body is telling me go forward whoa that was a big thrust you saw that one impala lift right up into the air there that is quite capable of killing that impala so let's just look for some blood looks like he may just have been picked up on the horns look at that see the one now he's got the leverage advantage leverage advantage which will twist the horn there we go I can actually see I have no blood just yet they're just pushing against one another there we go and there's the winner and there you had it so the one that ran off in the front he was the loser 